Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Now her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting This is a journey deep into darkness. There will be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. Why doesn't she tell you coming? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. I can feel you coming. Shh. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them? Look, up ahead. You see it too. You promised you could. Yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the Northmen call hell. thinking I can tell you she's afraid wouldn't you be you'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years but the darkness it just builds onto itself growing stronger towering over her you might try and ignore it turn away it's always there, just out of sight, where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. 
bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear runs far, far deeper. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. You can't do it. Senua pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to hell's gate, but God's in the living room. Yearns for life, hungers for it, like a pack of wolves on a hunt. But she's not stopping. Not this time. Can you see it? The land of mist and fog. Fool was right. What was it he said? The river of knives across which lies the halls of hell. The place they call Hellheim. There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved. Dillian. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? Why doesn't she turn back? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. His soul is in Helheim. His soul is The bridge to Helheim. Where are we? She needs to see. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it.
Get well. <laughs> What's she waiting for? Why did she do that? She shouldn't have done it. She can't go back now. <laughs> no, this is it. The hidden path. Stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. Towards the gate, and the gate will open. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. It worked. What's mine? Where will it take you? It's not safe. I spent six years enslaved in hell, but I watched the Northmen, learnt their ways. I know you did. You listen, when everyone else laughed. My people pay the heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Another voice joins us. She once tried to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. What is that? When we are always here. I guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge, pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near, waiting for you to make that little slip. You can't just wish things away. the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. Thank <laughs> you. 
vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rot. And now, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. Her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. He's not right. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire. Surt, and the god of illusion, Valraven, spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. To Dillian, to his soul. It won't open. How will she get through? Why won't it open? Why can't she open it? She needs to challenge the god. She has to fight two gods first. Two gods? Two, two gates. gates. One of them will kill her, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to die. Uh -oh. Which one will she challenge first? Be very careful, Senua. Choose a gate, Senua. Two gates, two gods. She's too scared. Of Which one? Valraven, ancestor of the seers, 
and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Follow the path to Valravan and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. hides the path to Balravan. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. It's a door. Push it. Push it. Push it. Come on. She did it. She did it. She did it. again and pretend what we saw was never either. She will find what she's looking for. 